So I wanted to come in and talk a little bit about the 1111 and in more kind of practical terms, what I'm noticing uh, happened after the 1111 and what seems to be going on and talk a little bit about uh, where we've been. And I know we've kind of been out of the loop here for a while it, um, because of the intensity, but I'm, um, I'm stepping back in, in some ways to support Sammy. Sammy's going through an important phase right now and she's going through um, an embodiment process and we're currently working with someone uh, to, to help in this process. And it's certainly an exciting time and I feel very hopeful uh, and optimistic with what's happening but it is, it is an adjustment. Those of you who are parents of these very high vibrational autistics know, and not all of them, I know some of them seem to be riding through the last couple of years uh, just fine. But um, for others of us with these beyond verbal autistics, uh, especially since maybe mid 2017, it's, we experience a lot of challenges with our with our very high vibrational uh, kids and it's been it's been difficult it's been unpredictable sammy certainly had a, um, some very very hard months and the more we pushed it meaning my husband and i the more we tried to um, just make her get out of that funk um, or that these phases that really didn't work and um, it was like coming up against bricks, fighting against bricks. And so we kind of had to allow whatever Sammy was doing, whatever was happening to her and through her to, to uh, unfold and let it take place. And that's what I noticed, just the, the amount of uh, activity that was going on in the multidimensional realm and how much was changing so much new information and symbols uh, and activations coming through. And it was so intense that we obviously, there was no way to stop it. And there were several times when, you know, I would just look up at the universe and say, no, we can't take anymore. We, this has to stop. We can't, we can't do this anymore. We can't do it like this. Um, and, you know, uh, didn't seem like anybody was listening. Uh, you know, in, in a sense, and we were supported in other ways. So I soon, soon came to find that if I drew whatever images that were coming through Sammy or um, I, I did some energy work and things, uh, it, she seemed to get over it faster. So for whatever was trying to come through, um, you know, I would, I would sort of capture it, uh, draw it and some some weeks I would be drawing like mad because um, that's the only thing that seemed to help Sammy at that time. So it was a very mad uh, periods there at times of trying to support her like that. And, you know, sleep disruptions, uh, you name it. Uh, and I know other parents can, can sort of relate to that. Uh, kids sitting on the toilet for, you know, overnight Sammy has stood in one spot in the, uh, in the kitchen um, at times. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Facebook um, to see what the comments are. I, somebody had a comment, but it's not, it didn't quite pop up yet. But yeah, it was really, it was really intense. And, you know, she would stand in one spot all night uh, in the kitchen and you couldn't move her. There was, there was no way that you could move her. She was hyper-focused, probably not even, even really in her body. So, you know, these are sort of the things uh, that I know that other parents have, have experienced. So it's, um, you know, it was a very, very intense time. And now it feels like that phase has, has ended, that intense phase of, uh, transmissions to bring the new energy, so to speak, into the planet to redesign uh, sort of the architecture that we, we, we live in, um, that we manifest from has, has really changed. And so there seems to be a new time now. And 
Uh, so the, the ways that I was coping to try and help Sandy cope uh, is, is now no longer working. So that is an indication that now it's time for another, another change. Something is changing uh, and has changed. And part of that has to do, it seems, with the embodiment process that, um, that really everyone is being pushed to do. Um, it's at various levels. But everyone is being sort of uh, pushed now to, um, and it's not pushing as in the universe is, is forcing you, but that's, that's the way, because of the way everything is now opened up, that's what's happening. Um, you can't help but allow your soul or your spirit to now drop in to the body. It, it, it's all about embodiment and there's lots of people talking about that now. So even including the autistics. So I knew that Sammy was going through embodiment for the last couple of months. It was, it was happening and I was trying to support her as best possible. Um, and uh, it were, we started working with the same woman that um, helped Lyrica to embody. And, um, you know, we've only been doing it for about a month now. Uh, there's been, you know, some ups and downs with that, um, but I feel optimistic. And Sammy doesn't want me to say a whole lot more right now about that, about the process, how it's been going for her. Um, somewhere down the road, I will share more just so that more parents um, have that kind of information available. Uh, my feeling is, is that it's gonna be a little different for each of our, our kids, you know, depending on what they did to adapt their bodies um, to uh, to receive the downloads, you know, in the past. So that's all changing. Um, uh, Sammy was going through almost daily kinds of explosions uh, before we started this, and um, we've gotten her to a point now where that's has that has stopped because there's more of her core spirit now in her body and you know there's there's a lot of adjustments that still need to be made i don't know what that's going to look like um so i'm just saying you know so i'm kind of uh stepping back a little bit uh so i can support her um doing some other things and planning processes in the background uh for the future and you know i don't know what it's going to look like um you know there's like a lot of drawings and symbols that i've drawn and I uh, would like to share more of that because uh, I feel like a lot of the energy and the symbols will help more people to to make the shift, you know, make this um, uh, adjustment that we are all needing to to make. And certainly for the people, um, you know, who are listening to this, uh, watching, we're all kind of already have done a lot to raise our vibration, so to speak. Um, and we're, you know, in the process, various levels of, of embodiment. I'm sure all, all of you are going through that embodiment um, of soul spirit as well. So, um, you know, in the future, I, uh, I hope that Sammy will be able to come on camera with me. You know, I didn't want to do that because she, I didn't want to um, show the kind of the more disheveled side of Sammy. You know, I would always want her to, um, shine in in the best way possible so uh in the in the future yeah i hope that she can come on more be more um uh, telepathic that's one thing that i'm noticing her telepathy now is uh, in the human physical realm is much more is much easier uh to to read to to get so um you know i don't know who knows what you know what that will mean uh for the average person now Although I'm hearing more and more people talking about being able to telepathically communicate with their friends and uh, things like that. So while um, Sammy is, uh, you know, and for a lot of our autistics, they are, um, what I would say, they're, they're trying to go from the really high vibration and they're trying to come down, bring the, the vibration down into their bodies while most of humanity is trying to raise their vibration uh, during this time. 
you know, and lo by lowering, by coming down in vibration means that they, you know, like um, if you watched our, our vlog that, uh, uh, that they, you know, she was out, could be out at the 25th dimension, you know, and beyond. And um, that a lot of our kids, uh, I think probably even more so in the last two years uh, have been doing that. And so they seem uh, much more out of, out of body because that was what um, was opening to that level of uh, cosmic, um, a cosmic platform that we have available to us. So they're trying to come down <laughs> in vibration and really now anchor it into the body and hold it in the body. And that's, that's tough. Uh, we just had, um, we just experienced that when the 11-11 happened, you know, we were doing well, you know, it felt like we were on a, on a groove with this embodiment and getting some of these uh, tools down and adjusted. And the 11-11, there was a huge opening that took place and an activation and woo, <laughs> there went Sammy. And um, I didn't realize how far out uh, she had gone. So, you know, just to give you an example, what having gone, uh, the, the realms now, completely open means um, like we've opened to future timelines you know and we've uh, aligning to uh, a, a future um yeah so lily says uh lilia uh paul says that yeah on 11 she saw the 11 11 coughing machine yeah so this 11 11 is going to come up this uh, it was a really important activation and, and and things happening at multiple multiple levels but what I saw, um, it was like this laser beam of energy um, on the back of my head. And uh, it was like watching all of a sudden, I was like watching this movie playing out of the birth of our universe. It was like something said it was like 950 billion years and beyond. Um, so uh, that means that the timeline, the time matrix that uh, we had existed in uh, it's just is blown open past, present, and future. It's, it's just been blown open now, and where uh, part of this false matrix that I've talked about in the past, it was like um, they we were kept in a, a, like a loop, you know, patterning over and over again and doing the same uh, destructive kinds of things. Even through Atlantis, you know, only being able to get to a certain point and then everything is destroyed and our memories are wiped you know so we don't, we don't even remember uh lemurian times or atlantic atlantis times so then you kind of relive a cycle again of um ego-based reality you might spiritually evolve to a point and then you know you come down so so even so when the time matrix when we say that the time matrix was kind of even captured within a certain bandwidth so that we would keep repeating cycles, the same cycle over and over again. So we say that the past timeline was blown open to the beginning of the universe or beginning of our, the birth of our entire universe. That means, okay, uh, that false matrix, whatever you wanna call it aspect has been just blown open. So it's all open now, uh, the open source system as even um, in sort of the distorted 3D language that they like to um, uh, talk about, there there is such a thing as total open source system, and it means that as soul beings we have access to source at that level, and as soul beings we have choice, we have sovereignty, uh, you know, to express as a source being in, in certain ways, there's a, there's a level of freedom um, that the human avatar as a, uh, as a soul expression of the one source God is, is supposed to ha be able to do. So anyway, that 11-11 just it's kind of blasted Sammy out or whatever uh, grips she had with her body. It was like she got thrown out again and we had to locate her and uh, try to bring her back so uh that's how that's how big this uh 11 11 is um 
the other point I want to talk a little bit more about, I know our, our vlog that we put out was probably a little bit, you know, <laughs> difficult to understand at certain levels. So I wanted to bring um, the uh, activation of the 1111 to a, sort of a practical level of what uh, that means or what that could mean, or what uh, it could show up as. Uh, if you read our post that um, the, it looked like the magnetics of the earth was uh, activated, the, the real yin aspect, the feminine uh, physical manifestation of the yin in it being as embodied, you know, in physical form. So for the earth to be activated at that level means that, uh, I don't want to say divine feminine, you know, I almost feel like even, I'm not really understanding what divine feminine, divine masculine really means even, because even divine feminine doesn't mean uh, women who have to uh, exert power in the same way that men do, you know, you see women engaging in, um, you know, fist fighting now in shows. And, you know, I get excited about those things. And those are um, when we feel like the feminine has been suppressed and it, it emerges, we, um, there is a, an aspect that wants us to kind of be able to exert that kind of power. But um, I don't feel like, I don't feel like we really know what that is going to look like yet until we start to really embody it and allow it to uh, flourish in balance with the, the yang aspect, the, the embodied male, balanced male aspect with the balanced female feminine aspect. So, but with um, our earth now activating this magnetic uh, energy, what I'm noticing is that um, like I see it when I saw it on the 1111, it was uh, like a very coppery goldish liquid uh, energy. And it's, um, you know, permeating the planet. It's uh, activating through the ley lines um, on the planet, which is like the meridian system of the earth. Um, the magnetic is a feminine principle uh, magnetics is also what holds us on the earth, right? Uh, it, it's what keeps us here. And so when we think about even soul and spirit coming right, right down to the pelvic area, um, that we will be in, in uh, union and, uh, and sentient cooperation with the earth in a way that uh, we have not known. So it changes, it changes uh, everything. Uh, that magnetic principle is also what we um, call the, uh, the emotional body, you know, the electric being masculine and the, um, the feminine being uh, magnetic. And it's that creates the mag electromagnetic uh, waves that goes through. Uh, and what I've been noticing this past week at different moments uh, is that the magnetic energy uh, that's been running through us was not even really correct. Uh, that was, and, and, the, and so uh, our mental and emotional bodies that have been kind of woven together and creating uh, reversal patterns, which shows up as looping, looping thought patterns, um, looping emotions, uh, thought patterns or scripts that are connected to emotions. So it's, you know, the thought pattern would be things like, I am unworthy or I'm to blame or that person is to blame, he's to blame, she's to blame, or I'm to blame, that's my fault. And that generates an emotion. There's an emotion attached to that feeling worthless, feeling uh, unworthy. If you're blaming other people, that generates anger. And so it's those kinds of by wave or polarity scripts um, 
in the way the magnetics has been on the earth uh, really reinforced it being difficult to, uh, to release from that. And, you know, people have come up with different techniques to, you know, change your thought patterns, change the way you think. Um, hi, Jennifer. And hi, Lori. I appreciate Heather, everybody uh, uh, showing up to listen. So you can listen from the beginning and um, uh, hear a little bit more about our story here, uh, what we've been experiencing with Sammy. But anyway, uh, people, uh, you know, kind of deprogramming from the mind scripts and the mental mental processes that we've been kind of um, been in. So with the with the the magnetics now that it's activated on the earth, it feels like it's easier to uh, dissolve those connections. Uh, it's easier for those emotions to, to, to even at the deeper cellular levels to now uh, be, be released. So will everybody notice that? You know, maybe not. And so you may see people where there's deep emotions and sadness coming up and they feel like they're reliving a pattern or um, where we might see more people kind of uh, losing their minds in a sense or going crazy. Um, you hear more pe about more people um, being psychiatrically hospitalized lately who may not have had uh, a psychiatric hospitalizations in the past before. Well, and all this thing, all this, these issues with COVID and lockdowns and things obviously contributes to all of that as well. Um, so uh, th then it's also the magnetics of it, like as it's moving through the earth now and cleansing, it's uh, stimulating those deeper hidden truths now to, to surface as well. So uh, magnetics is also connected to um, the lower Dantian, which the um, martial artists and yo uh, yogis, people that practice yoga work with, it's along that Haro line or central vertical channel. And it sits um, sort of behind the navel, our sacrum, our sacral, Chakra is also has that principle of magnetics, emotional body. Uh, yes, I will. Uh, somebody's asking if I'm going to put it on our face, our YouTube channel. Yes, so, so I am recording it um, so that uh, I can I can uh, post it on our YouTube channel as well. So could somebody write a comment back to J. A. Fox? I don't know. Uh, she says she can't seem to watch it live right now on Facebook. So if somebody could just answer her um, and say, yes, it will be on our YouTube channel. I would appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. But um, yeah, so that's what I'm, that's, so, so those are some of the things that I'm noticing in practical terms about what um, is happening and, uh, oh, and the sacral. Uh, so a lot of but the sacral is also connected to things like our sexuality, sexual energy. So um, a, lo a lot of that is going to get stimulated if people have experienced sexual abuse. Um, you know, that's going to become more uh, stimulated in the lower pelvic area, um, in the uterus or issues possibly with the ovaries for males, you know, other, other types of issues. That may go on um, there, and I think I think that's why there's so much more now coming out about even the sex trafficking, and um, why it sounds like. And other people are talking about this too. That um, in 2021, there will really be a lot more information coming out about how deep um, this issue of child trafficking and child sexual abuse goes, especially related to satanic ritual abuse, which has been a way for a lot of uh, the, the, the powers um, that have controlled on the planet have maintained uh, their level of power. I know it sounds sick, but um, you know, it, it, from what's coming out, there is more information that that uh, uh, is, is true. And I know some people just don't wanna believe it if it's not in mainstream news. But anyway, I mean, that's not here to argue about um, 
and people will accept uh, uh, a level of truth that is right for them and what they feel comfortable with. But anyway, it's um, it's going to bring up a lot of emotions, um, but I've, I've noticed that it's easier to clear. So it's almost like saying we're getting to the deeper and deeper and deeper levels. So if we even imagine the second chakra or the sacral kind of being connected to second dimension, then we're going to get into even deeper, which is the first dimension. And that's where um, reality really, really breaks uh, in this realm, so to speak. Uh, so how that's going to look, uh, you know, I don't, you know, I don't know. But one thing with this 1111 activation that uh, I also noticed is that um, there's, uh, it activated the golden, um, the golden grid on the planet. And uh, like I see uh, diamond water dragons that are supporting uh, this, this golden grid and they're supporting it in a way uh, so that things don't fall apart all at, all at once. Um, and I know there's been a level of grace at work even in the last couple of years. And you know, if anybody listens to uh, Lee Harris, you know, he's channeled similar things where it could have been a lot worse. Uh, it could have been much, much worse, much more devastating where everything could have collapsed all at once. But we're seeing like breakdown sort of in phases here. And, um, you know, it's still unclear, it sounds like from what I've seen in the last couple of days, whether uh, Biden really is uh, the named president. I don't know. Um, certainly, I have my uh, reservations about some of the things that he has said that he would do once he took office. Um, but that's a whole nother, another topic that I won't get into, into here. But but yeah, the, we're being supported at many, many different levels. And uh, the diamond water dragons are supporting the um, crystalline earth grid uh, to, uh, to maintain a level of, of stability. And there's enough sort of, you know, you think of water, you know, diamond water, water. So kind of being a little bit malleable and a wavy, they're kind of uh, keeping the waves as uh, to, to be as steady and as gentle as, uh, as possible uh, so that things are, are manageable. Uh, and this is where, you know, all of us who are awakening play, play a part uh, at this time is that as we continue to stay heart-centered and as we continue to do our work to embody our soul and spirit, we're we're supporting a level of stability as well. So, you know, there are some people that are out there that are the noisemakers to fight against uh, things that are happening. And, um, and then there's those of us who kind of sit back more, more in the behind the scenes. Uh, but we also are, are adding stability to, to the planet. So, you know, this is all important at different levels and in, and in different in different phases. Uh, and like I was saying in our vlog, you know, it's like, be careful of thinking that one president or the other one is better. You know, they both got their issues and um, uh, it's, it's the more we keep expecting to put our power in, in someone, someone else outside of us, um, the more challenging it's going to be for us to become a collective human uh, consciousness because that's what's really arising now. And as more and more of us are able to embody soul and spirit, you know, right down into that pelvic floor, right down into the, the, the pelvic area, you know, as I'm learning with um, Jessica that uh, we're working with, that has also worked with um, Lyrica, uh, it's uh, going to play an important role in 
us becoming a, uh, a collective consciousness. Uh, and yes, I know I hear, hear, you know, parents wondering, okay, what about my child? What about my child? Cause I know you all want peace in your lives as well. And, um, our, our kids quote deserve to have a, a level of, of peace in their body as well. You know, Sammy was not experiencing a level of comfort in her body and it only got more intense these last couple of years. Uh, and now uh, whatever strategies I was using in the past was not working anymore, like I said in the beginning. And that means it's time to change. And the only way for her to get ease in, that, in her body is now for her soul and spirit to really marry with the body. You know, she's, Sammy had a brilliant insight um, with our last session. And she realized that it's the, the, the wisdom of the soul marrying the instinctual aspect of the body because the body has an intelligence that we uh, that was created, you know, to be a human, human form, to be the avatar human, uh, there's a level of, of grace and ease that this human body is supposed to experience. And it has uh, an innate, instinctual intelligence, which we've been taught to kind of call more of uh, the... Um, animalistic, which is beneath the human, you know, we're so much better than the animals, you know, is kind of what the attitude has been in three dimensional consciousness, uh, that they are here for us to usurp them, you know, and that's, uh, it's kind of that uh, hierarchy mentality. And then, you know, you can even justify them why a certain group of people are enslaved or can be abused uh, for the power of others, you know, so it kind of goes down the chain when um, you have that kind of mentality. But anyway, what I was saying was marrying this, the intelligence of the body with the soul and the spirit, because regardless of what the soul and the spirit may want to do, if the body cannot handle the level of energy of even the soul, the vastness of soul and spirit, the full vastness of uh, spirit, then um, the body, you can't take the body with you because it can't, you have to develop an equal partnership now with this body. And part of it is changing our consciousness of what, about what the body is and what it's capable of doing, you know, and similar to all the COVID uh, agenda of a vaccine, that we have to have a vaccine, something outside of us that will uh, be injected into us to heal us, you know, um, that's uh, so. It's it's kind of scary <laughs> what they're what they're proposing. I think a lot of you listening uh, probably feel that way, and if not, that's okay. But there is an intelligence to this body, and um, we have yet to see what the full capacity of that is. We have yet to see what the full capacity of the human brain can can process, you know, and we just don't know what that's going to going to look like, uh, and you know, coming back to the uh, autists and the beyond verbal autists, especially that experience a lot of discomfort in the physical body. Uh, it includes them now. Uh, their whatever they came to do in the beginning when they were born. Uh, there's a there's a phase that is has been completed, uh, and I felt that with Sammy, like um, it's done. She's she did what she came in to do originally. It was difficult, but now boom, it's done, and so um, she gets to live as uh, with a level of grace and ease as well, and. Um, you know, I stay open about what that looks like because 
uh, anytime I've tried to, and a lot of you can relate to that, that uh, your parents, anytime we tried to impose what we thought would be a good life for them or what the right thing to do for them is, uh, that it's hasn't worked out, you know, um, it, it, has, it hasn't worked out. Uh, in some in some ways, I know other kids are you know experiencing wonderful things happening to them and many doors opening through um, rapid prompting method or um, spell to communicate facilitated communication. Um, but this is even now we're like imagining. Don't even imagine <laughs> because whatever we imagine from the past may be completely uh, irrelevant. You know going. Uh, uh, in the future. So, um, so, uh, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to know what Sammy's future, uh, is going to look like. Um, and again, it's, you know, just being open, uh, to, to what that, what that is. So, um, does anybody have any questions or comments? If I, uh, let me look at, uh, the Facebook. I know there's a six second delay, so I'll try and give it a moment. Let me look back. Um, uh, see if there's anybody else. Uh, anybody else um, commenting? Yeah, I don't see any comments or, or questions right now. Um, but again, I just wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what's going on with us and why we're kind of not as as active in 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 some ways. And I know I kind of jump in and out just depending on what what's going on with Sammy. So um, I'm not uh, I'm not even drawing as much right now, and I'm limiting uh, the what I do in the evenings uh, as far as like website things and other dimensional kinds of aspects uh, because that seemed to trigger um, more activity with the multidimensional realms, so to speak. Um, and uh, that would pull us kind of out of the body instead of uh, staying in the body. And so, especially for Sammy right now, when we're trying to really establish that connection for her, um, it's a little too easy for her to kind of drift out. She's getting better at it, she says. Um, she's got herself tied down, <laughs> so to speak. Um, but uh, until we kind of get more of that stability in place, um, we will uh, not be, I'm not doing as much in the evening. So I'll try and pop in for some of these Facebook Lives, or um, I know we got to figure out how to do it through our website too, so we can get our website subscribers that don't use YouTube or don't use um, Facebook um, to be able to to join in, um, you know, trying to do more of the, maybe I'll try and do just more updates from what I, what I'm seeing and uh, experiencing and what's going on. And yeah, I am, I am feeling sort of these questions, you know, about how do I help our child embody and, and things like that. And um, those are uh, uh, sort of good questions. And there are people working in, in the background um, to offer support, um, more support coming down the road. Um, so uh, there's a few different, a couple of different things that I know of that are just going on in the background. So that's all I can say right now. So it is in the works to uh, try and uh, support more parents and their kids and uh, the, the embodiment process and what that might look like and, and feel like. Um, Gail and Lyrica mentioned that they have a book coming out um, in a few months uh, during the live that we did with them. So I think that will, that will help uh, people get, parents get a little bit more insight so it's an exciting time and uh, it doesn't look like there's any, any questions right now. So uh, it is an exciting time. We will, uh, we will be watching more um, breakdowns in the world 
and uh, things getting a little chaotic for some people. Uh, but you know, encouraging everyone to stay centered, stay, um, come back into your heart, come back, work with your Dantian if you can. Um, and uh, deep breathing helps and really in intending to bring that spirit into the lower part of your body uh, and really connecting to the body and also um, intend to connect to the new magnetics of the earth and uh, see how, how that feels, uh, even bringing up the liquid magnetics from the earth, now the new magnetics and um, asking it to help you clear uh, emotional, mental, emotional blockages that are, have been difficult to clear. So hello, Shannon and hello, Kim. Uh, thanks for joining in and I'm um, just winding, winding down now and um, you'll be able to obviously watch it from the beginning when I, when I end and we will also be uh, put the recording on, on our YouTube channel, which might take a couple of days for my husband to kind of do his magic with it. So thank you very much. And, you know, we are all in this together and we hope to continue to share what uh, our awareness is uh, in order to, um, in order to uh, keep everyone encouraged and inspired so you know thank you kim i appreciate your, your work okay take care bye bye